listen, listen, listen. I came 371 miles to get here. I don't just look like this. I'm finna show my ass. So I would appreciate it. Come on, bring it on, bring it on. I would appreciate it. When T Ray bring me out here, y'all show me a little love. All right. That's fine with y'all. Hey, T Ray, we finna rewind the last 33 seconds of what we just saw, and I'm finna get this bitch crumb. All right. Hold up, DJ. Alright, y'all, come on, y'all, come on, y'all, put your hands there, come on, y'all. Do some more, 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 particular church and I joined the church. And my pastor got this open door policy. He wanted to get to know you as a member. So I went to my pastor house. His wife let me in. She walked me to his office. He greeted me with some very encouraging words. Now, hold on. You ever had your cell phone ring and you answer that motherfucker and it already be on speaker? <laughs> Shit got crazy. I'm sitting at his desk and his phone rung. He looked at the phone. He looked at me. It rang again. My pastor answered the phone, and this is how I went. <laughs> Brother Wallace in a different life ministry, this is dated God is made, I'm going to help you. And when I heard what I heard, it changed my life, baby. It changed me for the best. The young lady on the other end said, fuck all that shit, when you going to let me wrap this silver song around that big Christian dick? And I said, oh my God. But listen, don't judge me. Because the moral of this story is, right at least my pastor fucking women, he ain't fucking up boys. I can deal with that one. And listen up, ladies, 
Just try to work with what you got. If you got a man and he ain't been shit for 10 years, guess what? He ain't gonna never be shit. Fellas, if you got a girl and you been with her for 10 days and she ain't shit, guess what? She ain't gonna never be shit. So if you got something you got and you get work with what you got and everything probably fall in place. I get tired of women saying all oh, men dog. Maybe you just got some dog ass pussy. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? But see, women and men, they cheat totally different. Men, we don't know how to cheat. You know why? Because we do dumb shit. We could be in the car with our girlfriend in the phone ring. And we try to sneak our motherfucking hand in our pocket and try to hit that little button and make that bitch stop. And we make that bitch get a little loud. And she look at your ass and you look at her and you go on to answer the motherfucker. And when you answer that bitch, we say the dumbest shit in the fucking world. Listen, they, they know we on the phone with a girl. We say the stupid shit. What's up, nigga? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fuck with you, dog. Yo, 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 I'm gonna you. Listen, she might ain't say shit in the car. But guess what? She know that was a goddamn lady. You know why? Women don't forget shit because they download every motherfucking thing. Now, let me paint that scenario a little different. You in the car with your girl, fellas. You niggas listening like this motherfucker. You niggas don't go game in this bitch. Listen, you in the car with your girl and the phone rang. She don't send a divorce, man. That's her shit in order. She don't answer that motherfucker like it's the 4th of July. It's that other dude calling. She know it. She ain't got no problem. You in the car with your girl, you're on your way to the movies. And it's your birthday. <laughs> they some slimy motherfuckers when they want to be. She answered that bitch and this shit is so fucking magical. I, I can't fucking believe this shit. She answered that motherfucker and it's sick Rick on the phone. And she answered that bitch. She say, hey, Keisha. Yeah, man, Tony going our way to the movies. It's his birthday. We're going to see that new Transformer shit. Paul. Um, Keisha said hi, Tony. <laughs> and she hung the goddamn Tony up. Cause a real man know you got a man. You ain't leaving what you got to be with him. He just gonna enjoy the ride for the time being. Real, that was some regular motherfucker. <laughs> Listen to him. And he hang up the phone. He heard you say you in the car with your dude. Y'all on the way to the movies and it's his birthday. Fellas, hang up the fucking phone. But see, now, see, some women don't do their research because they like what they see. They tell that motherfucker that was in ESC when he was in school the same exact thing. Listen, I'm in the car with my dude. We're on the way to the movies. She hang up the goddamn phone and what that nigga do? Hoes ain't shit. Listen, I like the final things in life. It might don't look like it right now, but I like the final shit. I take my family to nice diners. Take my girl to the Michael Kors store, do all that type of stuff for her. Listen, I went to Red Lobster the other day. Why in the fuck you gave me a waiter with one arm? I don't understand this shit. White girl, one arm. Now, I'm assuming she probably got the shit bit off by a shark, because white people are always fucking with animals and shit. But the one hand that she did have, it wouldn't stop shaking. It just was rocking. And every time I go to Red Lobster, I order the same thing. Let me get a margarita, please. And anybody that go to Red Lobster, they know you get your margarita, they put a little salt around your glass. Now she bring me my motherfucking margarita in this shaking ass hand and put my shit on the table. Ladies and gentlemen, I had this much motherfucking margarita in my glass and I be goddamn this bitch suck off all my goddamn salt. But I order the same thing every time I go. I get the Walt Famous Shrimp. Anybody ever go to Red Lobster, they know you get from 10 to 12 shrimp. But I ain't count. I got my loaded baked potato and strain beans. Like I said, you get from 10 to 12 shrimp, but I won't count. This motherfucker come to my table with my plate in her shaking ass hand and slide my shit on the table. I looked at my plate and I looked at this motherfucker and I said, why the fuck I got three shrimp in my goddamn plate? 
I knew she wasted my shit because I seen the trail of the shrimp from the fucking kitchen to the table and had the motherfucking audacity to ask me, Sir, are you gonna leave a tip on the car? Listen, I got a tip for your motherfucking ass. You need to be working the milkshake machine with your chicken motherfucking ass. Come here, baby, that bullshit. But listen. Right now. I could make that shit all right. Now. That's a true goddamn story. Listen, that's three things in life that ain't gonna never happen to me, and I'm gonna share them with y'all because I feel like I'm at home. I feel like I'm at home. Listen, Dr. Foolish ain't gonna never get attacked by a motherfucking shark. You know why? Because I ain't never getting in the motherfucking water. That's one reason. Reason two, I ain't gonna never get attacked by a bell. You know why? Black people don't go in no motherfucking woods. And if I was so happy to have to go in the motherfucking woods, they say if you see a bell, play dead, and roll over. Fuck all that playing shit. I'm gonna be dead for real. So when they do the motherfucking autopsy, they gonna say this nigga ain't down no bad type. This nigga had a heart attack. And the third most important reason that ain't gonna never, ever, ever, ever motherfucker happen to me, I ain't never getting fucked in the ass. You can believe that shit right there. I ain't got no to I'm gonna protect this motherfucker and my life, depending on it. And if I was so happy to ever get fucked up and get in a little trouble and have to go to jail or go to prison, oh no, you ain't getting this ass. You get this ass, it's gonna be a dead ass. That make you a nasty gay motherfucker, you get some dead ass. Listen, now I'm in my bunk. Writing a love to my girlfriend. Ladies and gentlemen, keyword, girlfriend. I ain't with that faggot shit. You come in though, now you want to get physical. Hey, I'm 157 pounds soaking wet. Listen, stop fucking with me. I'm going to call the guards on you. <laughs> and then you got a little more physical. And I died, ladies and gentlemen. Now this inmate was charged with rape and murder. Now that inmate had a key witness that came to the trial and witnessed that, oh yeah, he told that little nigga ass up. He fucked the wind out that nigga ass. But he didn't kill him. That nigga had a heart attack. And listen, I don't hang with thugs. I ain't built thug tough. I ain't built for jail. I ain't with that thug shit. If you get in my car, I might have a quarter ounce of marijuana. That's it. But I'm gonna let you know, before you get in my shit, listen, I got a quarter ounce of marijuana in this bitch, so if we get pulled over, this is our weed. <laughs> this is our weed. Now listen, if I get in your car, and you got three bricks in the goddamn trunk, and you ain't told me, and we get pulled over, nigga, that's your shit. I ain't with that, I ain't going to jail for nobody. And you can stop telling everybody back at home in your little letters and on your genetics and shit that I snitched on your pussy ass, nigga, I ain't gonna snitch. Nigga, I told you your motherfucking ass. You got me fucked the hell up. That cool shit. Going to jail for no motherfucking body. Drop the soap. I ain't never dropped the soap at home, motherfucker. What make you think I'm gonna get in this bitch and drop the soap? I bathe with just some naked ass water. I feel a stinking motherfucker walking through that jail. You can bet that. I ain't worried about hygiene when I go to jail. You think I wanna be smelling like some hits and miyaki in jail? Tell you now, I wanna be smelling like piss and shit. You fuck with me, you just nasty motherfucker with that bullshit. And for real, all these different hairstyles and shit, ladies. I don't see no fucked up house styles here tonight, but I done seen some fucked up house styles in my lifetime. Listen, all that red and blue and yellow and all that shit, that shit don't look good on everybody, goddammit. Walking around this bitch looking like a motherfucking rooster. Talking about you Nicki Minaj. Ain't that, that Nicki Minaj shit don't look like that. You got life fucked up. And listen, I used to get major ass whoopings when I was a child because I had a field to mouth. But I get it from my granddad. So my grandma used to work with me. Listen. I was in the sixth grade. I can remember it like it was yesterday. My real name is Ishmael, for y'all that don't know. And a lot of people mispronounce my name. So my science teacher, she said, Ishmael, what would you like for me to call you? I said, you can call me Alberto. I don't know where the fuck Alberto came from, but I use Alberto. Listen. The wrong name. Let me do this. I, my name was Alberto. And my science teacher saw my grandma 
and went Dixie. I had been showing my ass for about three weeks straight. So my science teacher stepped to my grandma and said, Miss Walker, your grandson just been showing out in my class. And I, I wasn't there, but I'm only assuming that it happened like this. My grandmother said, what's grandson you talking about? She said, Alberto. <laughs> my grandma said, I ain't got no grandson named Alberto. <laughs> she was like, yes, you do. The, the little skinny one. Oh, you talking about Ishmael. That's his name, Miss Walker. <laughs> Listen, normally when my grandma come from Winn Dixie, she blow them on two times. That's to let us know to come outside and get the groceries out the car. Oh, she ain't do that shit this time. She bust through the door and she said, Alberto. <laughs> I had a hard attack, y'all. <laughs> you don't get one of them ass whoopers and they be talking to you while they be whipping your ass. It's like, damn, what you, you be holding grudges and shit on me? And, they, and then old people, see my grandma from Alabama, so they say country ass shit. You ain't never had to hear this shit a day in your life, but when you heard it, it made sense like a motherfucker. You know you skating on thin ice. Yeah. Motherfucker, I don't even know how to skate. <laughs> but I ain't want to say that shit. I said some shit like, that's a mannish ass little boy. I'm not mannish, that, and that's a sandwich that you eat. And then my grandma, my grandma always used to like try to school me and tell me different things that I have to use in life. So I thank my grandma for them ass whipping. But I used to try to get out them ass with me so much. My grandma was in the church. And anybody here that got a grandma that go to church yeah. Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, and some Saturdays. But when she at home, ain't none of that Christian shit. She could be in the choir stand just singing her ass off. And she come home, you'll talk to me like you don't even motherfucking love me. What's going on with this shit, grandma? And my grandma be in the choir stand all off beat. The choir going this way, and she going this motherfucking way. And I'll be running through the church. I can see my grandma. I swear I can't make this shit up. I can see my grandma in the choir stand saying. <laughs> and I'm saying to myself, this motherfucker going to hell when she got Fuck with me. But then my grandma used to make, make us do things that we didn't want to do, but it made me a better man. Because see, I got God in my life. I don't use nothing but weed. We gonna work on colors and shapes tomorrow for y'all to get pictures. <laughs> but listen, my name is Dr. Foolish from Bell Glade, Florida. This is the pastor for me. I want to thank Too Smooth. He reached out to me and brought me all the way up here. I appreciate the laughs. My family that don't travel a long distance to come up here to support me. Hey man, you're gonna be hearing his name. Don't ever forget his face on Dr. Foolish. I love y'all. <laughs> Y'all says everybody cool? Yeah. Come on, y'all. Is everybody cool? Yeah. Hey, give it to him one more time. Show my nigga some love. It ain't easy getting up and doing that shit, man. Man, hey, y'all, one, one positive message, y'all. Make sure you vote, y'all. Please, everybody vote. Make sure you vote. Everybody vote. Get your vote on, man. Barack Obama. Whoever you vote, just vote for the right motherfucker. That's cool.